bootloader is uh, basically a small file. So if you're running a legacy BIOS, it's uh, menu.list, uh, UEFI is grub a CFG file. Go to the menu and then go to my grub uh, file and we'll just go ahead and close this uh, side window. So if you look at the grub, uh, my uh, grub CFG, I have my default uh, setting is zero, which uh, refers to which menu entry uh, that you uh, will automatically log into if you don't, unless you intervene during the boot process. So I do have a bookworm, and uh, I have a F96, uh, a puppy Linux CE4 here. So there, uh, in fact, I have about seven or eight. Uh, uh, different puppet Linux that I can boot into so but default uh, is uh, uh, zero and you can certainly if I wanted to automatically boot that into uh, uh, a CEF 96 CE4 uh, puppet Linux I all I have to do is just change that to default one and, uh, out uh, just refers to how many seconds uh, the boot process uh, will show on the screen and for me for my machine 12 seconds seems to be fine so I can take a look at the uh, different choices of puppy Linux that I can put into and go ahead and intervene if I need to so so we can take a closer look at the uh, each menu entry and there are under uh, grub uh, CFG there is a Linux line which contains of uh, uh, important uh, uh, boot parameter uh, options so to uh, take a closer look at this in a, a puppy Linux form there is a nice summary in UEFI PC like uh, uh, mine here uh, if you uh, installed puppy uh, Linux following frugal pup uh, installer uh, and then uh, boot tap here and if you set up a uh, grub CFG using this method everything is pretty much automatically set so you don't really have to uh, uh, modify uh, Linux line here Especially if you have a slower machine to uh, insert pup SFS so it's telling puppy where to find SFS files for bookworm otherwise it will uh, go through and look for uh, puppy uh, SFS files in other partitions so to uh, this will help so what you need to do is uh, put in the uh, partition label here and then colon and then folder where you have the uh, uh, SFS file so let me just uh, go back and uh, show you so here is the partition uh, label pups and within it So within it, there is a B, uh, W, and K, B. This is where I have the uh, SFS file. So this is, uh, so it, it makes it much quicker to look for SFS uh, files, but it is not absolutely necessary. Uh, but in a slower uh, uh, UEFI PC, you may want to go ahead and add that uh, uh, boot parameter. So, uh, menu list in legacy BIOS. If you are using Grub4 DOS, which is usual uh, method that's been uh, that's been recommended in Puppet Linux, what you should do is add a line here right before pfix so uh, what you generally have to do is uh, have to enter psave equals and the name of the uh, save 
a partition. So in my case, it's a capital SAV dot, and then within it, there is a save folder that I ha I, I save all my uh, uh, puppy save folders. So let me just uh, try to show you in this machine. And then within it, uh, I have save folder uh, there. I have all the puppy save folders. So you should specify in uh, legacy BIOS exactly where the uh, P, uh, P uh, puppy save folders are by uh, adding P save uh, uh, parameters. So I hope that's clear. But this being a UEFI machine, I don't need to do that. In my case, on Gparted here, I, when I uh, initially partitioned it, I put the label here, pups, and the save folder, I uh, save a partition, a capital SAV. So you're using this information that you, uh, your parameters here. So I hope that's been helpful.